In this presentation, we're going to look at planar graphs. A planar graph is a type of graph. Essentially, it's a, a, a planar graph is said to be planar if it be drawn in the plane with no crossing edges. A graph G is planar if there is a graph H that is isomorphic to G with H drawn with straight line segments. That's from a particular definition, but that's not really that particularly important. The other, the most important part is no crossing edges. That's of particular importance. Okay, this is just came from a a, a textbook that uh, by a guy called Wagner from Germany, and he sort of mentioned the straight line segments bit. But the important part is no crossing edges. So what we have here is an example here, and what we're going to do is redraw this as a planar graph. Now I'm going to slightly dispense with the. Um, matter of straight line edges. I'm just going to draw it out freehand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually sort of swing this part up, this F part up. As, as I said, I'm going to rotate it upwards. And likewise, I'm going to rotate uh, D downwards as if C and E was a hinge and D was a sort of door. Likewise, F was a sort of uh, the cycle the as A and B was a hinge that I could sort of swing F up and down on. So this is pretty easy. If you can sort of follow my example, if not, doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is actually draw out the main bit, or this central core here, first off. So let's draw that out here. That's A, B, C and D. Now, uh, what are edges am I missing? I'm missing this edge and this edge. Okay, so what I could do is draw F up here and then just connect A and B to that. There we go. And likewise, I'm missing the edge from C to D and E to D. So just draw D down at the bottom and there we go. Sorry, that's D actually. This one's D and this one is E. That's E there. So there we have a planar graph and um, we could show that we could just redraw the graph with no edges um, crossing. Just a sort of important remark, actually, this is something related to something I'm not going to do in this presentation, but what I'm going to just sort of remark upon is the number of faces, or the number of regions enclosed by uh, edges. So we have this uh, face here, this face here, this face here, this face here. Uh, so we have four faces. I'm also going to just comment that we have six edges six vertices and uh, one two three four five six seven eight edges just gonna uh, remark that the number of vertices is six the number of edges is eight and the number of faces is four just remember I'm including the face as a sort of the region outside of the graph as well and th that's just a sort of slight digression to a thing called Euler's theorem because this is just a sort of pretty good place to sort of actually this actually would be a good example for it Euler's theorem for graphs for planar graphs uh, okay I'm going to move on to another one there uh, that's just a bit of a segue bit of a sort of digression there it's, it's sort of a good example a good time to talk about it though we draw this as a planar graph now this looks like a right mess how do we do this what we're going to do is try and sort of pick out a quartet of a sort of we're going to pick out a few edges and just sort of base our new graph on them. What I'm going to do is pick out this one here to start with uh, R, S, and N. But really, uh, if I was to include T in this sort of core part that wouldn't make too much of a difference. So what I'm going to do here is draw out this uh, here. Let's go to scroll down a bit. Let's go to draw it here. So 
So we have R there, S, N, and T. Okay. What are we missing? So we are missing a, a, a connection from M to N and M to S. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw M quite far out here. This is sort of trial and error thing, but essentially if you find yourself not it, not something not working, you just go further out. Okay. So draw the non-core edges quite far out. So I got this part taken care of. Okay. T is connected to P. And R is connected to Q. So what I'm going to do here, this is a sort of very outlandish example. I'm going to draw T very Q very far out. Okay, down the bottom here. And I'm going to connect that to T. Okay, so we got this one here drawn. Okay. Now you notice that M and P are connected to each other. So I have to draw this one here as well. So that's why it was worth my while to draw them quite far out from each other. And remember, they're not supposed to cross or anything any other edges. Now I might slightly do it in this example just because of the way I've drawn it, but just drawing freehand. But um, let's go down here a little bit further. There we go. I'll just draw Q a little bit further down there. Okay. So I got that one drawn. R connects to P. And P connects to Q. So what I'm going to do is and also M connects to Q. So I have to draw a a point that this is uh, the last part here. I'm just going to draw this in Q here. So I have to draw this edge, this edge, and this edge. Now Q is not part of my new diagram yet, but what does it have to connect? It has to connect to this, has to connect to this, and also has to connect down here to this. So what I can do here is draw it again sort of quite far out. Draw it over here. Uh, I'm drawing blue even. So it's connected to M now. This is Q. It's connected to R. And down the bottom, it's connected to P. Sorry, that one should have been P. That's P there. I made a mistake there. So, sorry, just as a sort of quick remark, T was supposed to be connected to P. I just uh, sort of uh, fluffed my lines there a bit. So, there we have our graph there now. Now, it takes up a big, big chunk of the page. But, uh, there we go. That's the answer we were looking for. Um, those are our... Uh, none, none of our... Um, we have all our edges taken care of, accounted for, and none of those edges cross each other. Now it's a bit of a mouthful, a bit of a it's quite big in the page there, so it's a bit hard to read. So I'll just sort of let you just imagine that it is they all connect down the bottom here to P and not Q as I sort of said earlier. Okay, that's enough of that.